Well, hey everybody, I recently got back from the Moore Expo and I have to say it was an excellent time. So many cool rigs to check out, lots of overland gear to peruse, and it was really nice to meet up with some old friends and make some new ones on Storyteller Row. This is my Moore Expo experience. This trip down to the Moore Expo was a special one for me, since it was my first time to actually be part of the show. It was an honor to be part of the Storyteller Row, and to help promote the efforts of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. All of us storytellers met up Thursday evening, and then spent the weekend meeting folks, sharing our stories, and getting the word out about Nick Nick and this amazing sticker, that when scanned, can show you missing kids within 50 miles of where you are at that specific location. We all put the stickers on our trucks and trailers, and maybe, just maybe, it will help bring a missing child home. See the link in the description to learn more about the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and how you can help keep their good work going. I should also mention that RollerCam was the big sponsor for Storyteller Row. Inside this little box is a wide variety of their various tie-down straps. Easy to use and rugged as all get out. An impressive product from an even more impressive company. Be sure to check them out when you get a chance. I also spent a few hours Friday morning volunteering and helping get expo goers parked. I had more fun than I expected, and it was the first time someone actually recognized me from my YouTube channel, so I guess that's pretty cool. Well, like I mentioned earlier, there's so much to see at more expo, you just need to take a lap around to get your bearings and soak it in. Like most everyone there, you can't help but be in awe of the various types and sizes of overland rigs on display. Whatever your favorite truck brand, you are sure to find it here, supporting the incredible overlanding build. EV manufacturer Rivian was also here with their truck and SUV models that you could take for a test drive. I completely spaced coming back for the chance to drive one on Saturday. Darn it! Overland trailers continue to be a popular item for getting you out comfortably in the backcountry. There was no shortage of styles and sizes on display, both inside and outside the expo.
Something brand new this year was the addition of a Power Sports Expo in the freshly built Wilson's Logistic Arena right next door to the Overland Expo. From UTVs and ATVs to boats and motorcycles, it wasn't hard to find some cool engine-powered toy to take along on your next overlander camping adventure. Overall, I had a great time, and it was nice to hang out with other storytellers throughout the weekend. Thank you, Tim, Ken, and Jake, for making our little place on the grass a fun place to stay for a few days. Be sure to check out their YouTube channels, and you'll find their links in the description section below. Well, that was my more Expo experience. Did you guys make it down there? If you did, leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you liked about it, or maybe something that you didn't like about it. Either way, please leave a comment. I'd love to know about your trip down to Springfield, Missouri. So, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, and a subscribe would be great too. And in the meantime, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you down the road.